Bonjour tout le monde, it is I, Rubbing RX, and welcome back to more Super Mario Advance 4, Super Mario Bros. 3. Last time we took on the ice, iced land, had some slippery fun in my favorite world, and now welcome to Pipe Land, my least favorite world. Um, it's composed of a bunch of pipes, this one you can't do. But yes, there's... Uh, it's just, I don't know, this world is just slow. Let's go right into it, shall we? Uh, so one thing you'll be seeing a lot in a few levels is a uh, looping stage, which is integral to... A few puzzle, not well, yeah, puzzles. I guess works in this um, stage. Let's see. And of course, there's a lot of pipes. Uh, if you take the right pipe, you get pushed back down. But yes, um, it's just a we. The levels aren't really that interesting. It. It's actually quite challenging. Uh, a challenging world? There are some awkward levels in it. Like this here is difficult, but now I know if you just walk and run. Before I would throw the shell and you have to like jump over it in the small amount of hole you have. Oh, crap. <laughs> Two, two, two. So there's a reason those uh, coin treasure ships, there is a reason uh, they have to be in worlds one, three, five, and six. It's because they're the ones that have basic Hammer Brothers on the map. World, oh, I forgot, okay, we're good. World 2 has Fire Brothers, and uh, World 4 has Sledge Brothers. This one has something different, and World 7 also, or 8 has something different also. This stage here is a collect all the coins stage. Uh... I'll try my best. I'm not entirely sure how to do this one. I feel like it has something to do with this P switch. In fact, actually, funny story, I. I had no idea which stage was the coin level in this world. I had to look it up, and I'm pretty sure I already screwed up. So yeah, uh, so yeah, that's the entire underwater section here. This stage has its uh, above water and underwater. It goes back and forth. This world also has the alternate game of pipe maze, which I think suits it very well because a lot of its stages are just mazes. Okay, boop. Nope. So here. There's a bunch of hidden note blocks. Hit a few of them. This will take you, I believe, to a power up. Which I would prefer that anyway. See, I'm sure this coin level has to do with that P switch. I'm kind of sad that in this playthrough I only got, like. I only got, like. Uh, I can't do math. Four. Three of the coin levels. And I'll have to show the rest on extra video. Don't care about that. See, it's just slow because ev between so many levels you have to go through the pipe. 
Just slows everything down. Now this stage is a star run stage. Oh my gosh. This block would be a star if you still had one. If I still had one. Um, this block would be a star if I still had... No, I don't think it would actually. Well, I might be able to try this again. Nope, okay. This block would be... Maybe... One of these blocks would be... I was all prepared for the star, too. Well, um... This is awkward. I guess I'll go for stage four first. I'll explain why it's awkward afterwards. I hate stage four, by the way. One of my least favorite levels in this entire game. An auto scrolling water stage. But it has some annoying... These blue cheap cheap things move faster than normal cheap cheeps. But you can't really dodge them that well because they have scripted areas they come in and this is auto scrolling. And then there's these blooper nannies that shoot their stupid children at you. And it's the most annoying thing. Um, and then you have this Gelectro maze. Well, sure. With this giant ass fish that you have to avoid. Because of the Game Boy, you can't really see what is around you. And now you have two blooper nannies. Along with some fish. Please, come on. There we go. It is one of the most stressful levels. There is just so much going on. You have to avoid it all with the awkward, not awkward, but just with swimming controls. And oh my god, I am so surprised I did not die. That was pretty impressive, honestly. Whew. That is probably my least favorite level in the entire game. To the point of where me and my sister as a kid needed the cloud to beat that level. I'm not going to show where that pipe goes. I'm going to beat level 5 first just to speed things up a bit. This level is one we actually liked a lot as a kid. It's um, it's a maze. But, I think it's slow. But, it was, it's a... Uh, we always had fun seeing if we can remember how to get through it. Um, so here, if you go up, this one here, I believe, oh, well, that's the correct one, but every other one of these has a hidden block there that prevents you from going up, but because this whole level is one big map in the pipe, you you can see yourself go through the pipe, it doesn't actually, like, reset everything. Like, going through the pipe in, say, stage 6-5 does. If you had a leaf, you could skip some of the level by going through there. And that would just bring you over here. And now there's a lot of spots here where you can't get back up after falling down. Now you go down here, and oh, oh, you miss. 
You need these blocks, and then you have to go back up this way. Shoot a bunch of bricks everywhere. Make your way through. And then... You come back over this way, go down the pipe. And you can go across. Believe that's really the end of it. Uh, okay, sure, mushroom, whatever. Oh, I got hammer suit. Cool. I have a Tanuki suit. Huh. How sad. So we take this pipe and... It puts us here. And this spot's weird because you can't... Actually do anything from it. It's literally just there to waste your time. Like this entire world. Oh crap. Um, speaking of wasting time... Notice this first set of four islands is shaped like a pipe. And the second set of four islands is also shaped like a pipe. Now here's the Hammer Brother replacement of this world. These pipe things. You have to run to, up to these pipes to get enough height to get over them. Then you have to alternate these plants. Or navigate the alternating plant, which will only hurt you if they're fully out. Um, if they're kind of halfway out, you should be fine. And this gets you a P wing. Yeah, they have a unique sleeping animation. Let's see what there this goes. And everything. Just like all the Hammer Brothers do. They have their own little sleeping animations. So that brings us to this uh, castle door there. I'm not sure where this one goes. Oh. My god, I'm stupid. I'm wasting my own time. Ah, the stage. Um, so you go through here, and you end up in this room, which is just a really long room of nothing. It even goes way far to the left. Going here, go over here, you jump over here, you hit this, it's just a fire flower. Then you go in here, and you can't. So you head back, you're not sure what to do, maybe we go check out the far left side. Nothing there. Huh. Seems very deserted. So you check out some of these blocks, and as I showed earlier, there's this here. Then you hit it, and you're like, oh my god, coins! Ooh, coins, so many coins, and you jump down. Check out this door. Just brings you back here. So go in, going again. What you're actually wanting to do is... Be very careful when hitting this block. Make sure you stand on it. And this door opens here. This door... Brings you... To a Tanuki suit. So you go through this pipe, which takes you to that pipe we couldn't go in before. Now, if you notice, there's no enemies in this level. 
the only way to die is through the lava or timeout. And that's because you need this to, or the only way to get hurt is to die with the lava or timeout. And that's because you need this Tanuki suit to complete the level. So if you get hit, you can't go back and get the Tanuki suit and it's a problem. So they just make it so you die or run out of time, which is why the level's so short. I mean, you could lose it there at Boom Boom, but who would? 69 times 100. Let's see if I can do better. Uh, I think I did it. I think I did it. Yay! Two up, guys. Now this is the level I was talking about where the screen wrapping is very integral to the level. See? And that's the power of a Tanuki suit. I'm going to try my best to uh, keep this Tanuki suit to the end of this world. We'll see how long that lasts. That's really hard there. Don't get crushed. These get across. Duck. And go up this pipe. Now take the exclamation point uh, movement block. Up the rest of the level. Now you can ditch it. Take these slow ones. To get up to this one. What you take up here. And there's the end. It's a slow moving level, but it's not too hard. And I don't know. It's a unique level. I'll give it that. Now this pipe just takes you onward. Now one thing about level 7, it's kind of hard to play this level with a power-up. But I will try my best. This is the hard one here. Oh wow, I did it. Okay. Yep, so this is a mandatory star run stage because of all the muncher plants there. We're up to 97 lives. I did get one coin in that stage. That's really interesting. Now, like I said, this game gets harder as you go. And this is another level that me and my sister had issues with as a child, for some reason. Probably because you need to run and jump at that pipe there. It's just a lot of timing with these piranha plants. I don't remember the star being here. But it's helpful because these munchers breathe fire on you. Like, no joke. They, they just start breathing fire on you. Some of them do. See? They, they, they're fire-breathing muncher plants. Fire-breathing nipples. Nippers. A 
frog suit. <laughs> Why? I don't even think there's another Wagger stage. Okay. Oh my god. What? I thought I was gonna get the bottom mushroom. So, I, I assume me and my sister also had issues with, um, with, uh, level 7, because we had, we never really got to this, and we had this friend at the apartment we lived at who also played Mario 3, this version actually, we played it on NES, but, um, this, we, we had no idea what to expect, and he's like, he told us it's a 10 second stage with lava, quicksand, and spikes. And then we got here and we were very disappointed. Now keep in mind my sister's like 7 years older than me, so um, yeah, I was like 4 at the time, she was 11, she was the gold one. So yes, this is a maze stage, um, I'm showing you the path to get through it. I don't want to go through all the wrong paths just to be like, oh look, this is not how you do it. And that's the end. Yep, this actually very confusing. I'm honestly surprised I haven't memorized because it's an interestingly confusing mess of pieces. And this last set of four islands also makes the shape of a pipe. It's actually really cool. Uh, Giant Land, Big Island, also makes the shape of a... makes the shape of a... Koopa. Uh, like, from the original Mario. The Actually, there might be four-legged in this game, too, but... A four-legged Koopa before they became bipedal. Oh, crap. No. No. Well, that's gone forever. I'm not grabbing that. Oh, crap. Um. Oh, God. Yep. That's a hard part. Without a power-up or a star. So you want to wait until these kiss each other like that and then go through. Yep, I felt that one. Whew. This, this, this game does not pull any punches towards the end. If you stay close enough, you'll still be technically to the side of the pipe and Boom Boom will not come out, or Piranha Plant will not come out. So this part here... Oh crap, really? Okay. Oh no, please don't. Okay. You need to do that, wait for the waffle to go through, duck under. Oh my god. <sighs> Dang, okay. There we go. Impressive, eh? <laughs> I think the developers even knew how annoying this level was. They don't have any pipes on this last island that you need to take to traverse to other parts, or the last four you need to take to traverse to the other parts. Yeah, that one's honestly not as bad as the first one. But it gets you a mushroom. Is it just what you need, Mario? I'm gonna do something stupid. It's terrible. The king has been transformed. Please find the magic wand so we can change him back.
Okay, so Hammer Brother can't can't go down hills. Can just throw hammer so. Good start. Oh crap. Um Anchor and frog suit. <laughs> Mario got some hops. Mario has too much hops. No more messing around. Uh, if I had Tanuki, I probably could do it. Tanuki is like the best power up in this whole game. This also is a fairly hard airship. This is definitely the hardest one we have seen so far. I am not taking that. You saw how I did with the hammer suit? <laughs> I, I need my tail. Easy Egotin time with World 6. It seems I've dropped from frames. I found them before Egotin, though, for one test. Means there's quite a few. I'm really excited for this next world because I have some interesting trivia I want to talk about. I don't, I feel like I heard it somewhere before, but I can't remember where I've heard it. And I swear it's legit, but I can't ever find the information anywhere. And I might have just made it up and I thought it was interesting if I did. Sorry, I'm not talking about this that much. It's just another airship. Oh my god, a short pipe. Meet Ludwig van Krupa. He has the same ground poundy effect as uh, Roy. Please don't. Thank god. I was so scared there. Man, that was a long world compared to some of the... Well, that was actually just a long world. It's, it's not... It doesn't have the most levels of any game. That shows you it's awkwardly long. Oh, it's what, oh, I like him. He's like a Viking. I am back to my old self again. Thank you so much. Here is a letter from the princess. Ah, the princess just loves us. And she's so gorgeous. I mean, just just look at her. Jo. I kidnapped the princess while you were hanging around. She's here in my castle if you dare to try and rescue her. Kwa kwa kwa, king of the Gulpats. Huh. Interesting. Oh, Princess Peach. You you got swole. So, next time on Super Mario Advance 4, Super Mario Bros. 3, we're going to be heading to the Valley of Bowser. Au revoir.